In the spring of 2018, the scientific expedition to Calabria was held with the guidance of Dr. Oleg Malsa. The expedition was dedicated to the research of Calabrian criminal subculture, namely its origin, philosophy, formation stages, and technology of expansion to new territories. Dr. Oleg Matsov, I have approached an investigation of Drangheta from a completely different viewpoint. I am looking into the structure which has a highly effective arrangement, capable of expanding its influence and solving certain tasks in hard markets. The research of the Ukrainian scientist was supported by his colleagues and international experts such as Antonio Nicasso, Gianfranco Bonofilio, Enzo Ciconte, Francesco Sbano, Gia Parini, Andrea Apollonio and many others whose names cannot be disclosed. In the course of the research, it was proven that Drangheta is organized as a model of a university within the family and has its own levels and rules. The Faculty of Skills, the Faculty of Philosophy, the Faculty of Revolutions, the Faculty of Intelligence Service and Organization of Partisan Movements. As a result, we get four categories of graduates. Fencing couple, formalities couple, capo bastone, capo rispetto. Each and every so-called faculty is presented in detail in the book by Dr. Maltsev, which is titled Deceptive Silence. There was evidence found supporting this model in the architecture of Calabria, which is saturated with traces of Franciscan monks. And there are so many traces of them that they cannot go unnoticed. Obviously, the main revered miracle man in Calabria is a Saint Francesco di Paolo. The stages of his life explicitly reflected in the images. In the temple of Di San Rocco de San Francesco di Paolo, images show four stages of life, which correspond to four university levels which are the foundation of Drangheta. After going through four levels of preparation, the monk gained such capabilities and knowledge that people started treating him as Santos. Basically, he became known as a miracle man. In the course of the expedition, Dr. Maltsev succeeded in restoring the technique of razor handling, which has to be mastered during the first level of the faculty. The given stage of training involves 12 demonstrations of razor handling. There is no doubt that a weapon is an excellent teacher to a man, because in the process of handling a weapon, he comes to an understanding that every single mistake he makes might be his last. Thus, one develops a distinct philosophy towards pain, fear, life, and himself. During studies of the history and culture of Calabria, there was also a scientific hypothesis about the man who might have been the head of Drangheta's foundation. Before the 17th century, there were no reasons or grounds for creating this type of a structure. It was in the 17th century when a maestro of the Neapolitan style of Spanish fencing came to Calabria. Maestro Francesco Villardita adhered to an attacking fighting system only. It was Francesco Villardita who had introduced a secret and closed system of education inside the family. He was an outstanding specialist in the implementation of secret operations, and he was probably the founding father of Calabrian criminal subculture, 
which is known worldwide today as the Drangheta.